What's good everybody, it's the Big Hoagie here. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little different, and we're gonna talk about downloading all of Logic Pro X's sounds onto your computer or external hard drive. Before we begin, as always, today's joke, how did the dictionary become a star on Broadway? There was a play on words. Um, something like that, I may have messed it up, but either way. Let's jump into it. So um, if you're like me and you're operating on your MacBook Pro that you bought a couple years ago, or maybe it's new, but you didn't get a large enough hard drive, you are scavenging for space. Um, so I'm going to discuss how to get Logic Pro X's sounds onto your external hard drive and um, also to check and see if you actually have all of the sounds that Logic offers installed. So um, first things first, uh, one easy way to tell if you have a lot of the sounds installed is if you go to the library and there's download arrow, arrows, that means you don't. Um, but for starters, you wanna go to Logic Pro X at the top left, you wanna go to sound library and you wanna go to um, open sound library manager and when you do that um, <clears throat> it'll show you all of these sounds and um, sound packs etc that logic offers and then the status of them will be on the right so you can see here I have all sounds installed now I personally operate off of a uh, terabyte Seagate hard drive externally uh, but how did I get there so what you're gonna to wanna to do is when you first get Logic and you uh, open it up, it's gonna to wanna to install the essential sounds and instruments for Logic Pro slash main stage. So you have to have enough space for this to be accomplished. Now, um, if you click on it here with the check mark, it'll tell you it's 1.69 gigabyte download. Uh, installation requires 1.69 gigabytes. Now it says that and that is not the case. Um, my laptop had um, as I said, I was scavenging for space. It had three gigabytes and it still wouldn't install this. So I had to free up some space. So, um, if you're at that point, I can't help you. You have to at least have enough space to install this. But what you do is you connect your hard drive and, um, as long as you have essential sound pack and instruments, um, or essential sounds and instruments downloaded, um, it doesn't matter if the rest are. You just need to have this one. And then what you do is you go to Logic Pro X Sound Library and you go to Relocate Sound Library. You click that and it's gonna come up with options, okay? So uh, right now you can see main drive. Like I said, I have my terabyte hard drive um, and that's what I installed all the sounds onto. Um, or I have my Macintosh hard drive which only has 10 gigabytes of free space so obviously it's not going to be able to host all the sounds as all the sounds are around which it says up here around 65 gigabytes so um, what you do is you just go here and you click on your external drive it'll relocate and then you hit relocate and it'll relocate the essential sounds onto your external hard drive after that is completed which it will prompt you and say uh, relocation has been confirmed you then go back to Sound Library Manager, you open it up, you click on um, whatever you want to install. If you have enough space, I don't see why you wouldn't install all of them. Um, so you would click on Select All Uninstalled, and then you would hit Install. And at that point, it'll start to install all of the other sounds. Now, because you relocated the library onto the hard drive, it'll start to download and install all the additional sounds to that uh, location. So you won't have to worry about them downloading them onto the computer and then transferring them over. Um, as long as you put the essential sound kit onto the external drive, it'll download the rest of the sounds uh, there as well. So one issue you may run into, um, if you already have an external drive and you utilize it as a backup for your Mac, uh, you won't be able to do this. So what you'll have to do is you will have to go um, to system preferences and go to time machine and then 
select backup disk. Make sure that the external hard drive you're utilizing is not selected as the time machine um, backup disk. And secondly, any time machine backups that are on the hard drive are going to have to be removed. So um, there is that trade-off. Uh, I haven't found a loophole for this. Uh, but again, if you have a time machine backup on the drive, uh, you will not be able to transfer the uh, sound library onto it. So you're going to have to delete the backup and make sure that the hard drive is not selected as the time machine backup. And uh, you should be good to go on the installation. So um, like I said, this isn't a uh, beat video today, but I feel um, it's kind of a technical support uh, feature of Logic that's important, as I know it took me a little bit of research to figure out how to do this. So if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and post those in the comments below and I'll try to uh, answer any issues you're having. Um, other than that, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, give me the thumbs up, guys. I hope this, got, this video was helpful for any of you that were struggling. Um, if you're struggling for space on your computer and you know, uh, you're watching videos that have stock sounds from Logic that you don't have because you don't have the whole thing installed, I highly recommend getting the external drive. It's not a lot. Uh, you can get a one terabyte drive. Like I said, mine's from the brand called Seagate. Um, and I believe it was uh, 50 bucks somewhere around there. So um, yeah, it's a little bit of an initial investment, but it's uh, definitely worth it, especially if you uh, decide to download a bunch of songs and a bunch of files, you can always have that external hard drive there. So uh, again, I hope this was helpful, guys. Give me the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.